Hi, I'm Larry Lunder, field agronomist with Pioneer Hybrids in Western North Dakota. Today I want to talk a little bit about uh, strategies if you decide to split your nitrogen application. What are the, some of the things, the do's and some of the don'ts and uh, what can we get done depending on the stage of growth. Uh, there'd be a couple of reasons you could split the nitrogen application in Western North Dakota. Uh, one might be that you went into a year where it was maybe uh, the conditions weren't looking the best and you felt you needed to uh, be careful with your inputs. During the course of the early start of the growing season we get growth. Uh, you don't think you have enough nitrogen on there for the yield potential so you're going to go in and add some additional nitrogen. Uh, if it's early enough in the crop you have a lot of options anywhere from broadcasting urea to knifing in some anhydrous, to knifing in some liquid. Uh, the smaller the crop is, the easier it is to perform a task uh, on the field. Since we're basically all dry land in Western North Dakota, uh, we don't have the option to go ahead and put it through a pivot uh, like you would if you were under irrigation. So to, so to look at the options, the question is, what are you able to do? Um, is it having having one of your local suppliers come out and spread the urea on? That would be an option. That would be something done best early, say V3, V4, something like that in there. Uh, that would be a great, great time to do that. If you're putting the liquid on yourself, you can, you can stretch that a little bit. Uh, if you don't want to do a direct uh, injection into the soil with something, then you have to look at a liquid application. That will need to be done with, uh, of course, a sprayer. And you'll need to be cautious to go ahead and use a drop nozzle on that uh, and make sure you're not using a basic flat fan nozzle that you would use to apply fungicides or herbicides. We tend to get way more leaf burn than what we want to get with that. So the best option is, is a drop nozzle. Now, another question to ask yourself in, in Western North Dakota is, can I go out and can I do this safely for the height my corn's at? Uh, as we get bigger and bigger corn, it gets a little tougher to do. Uh, so this, this is something else I would, I would take into account. Uh, a second reason you might go out and decide to apply some nitrogen is, is within uh, the last week or so, we've had some heavy rain events in certain areas of our, of our territory and uh, we've caused likely some leaching of nitrogen. As we see these deficiency comes up, then the question is, is well, what can I do now to go out and apply something without running down a, a lot of the corn crop? And this is when it's gonna get into likely you're going out with some type of drop nozzle because um, it's gonna be important to get below that whirl. We don't wanna put anything directly into the whirl. And it's also gonna be, you know, important that we don't damage the crop. So something like a narrow uh, a row, narrow tire, a row sprayer will go out, then we'll apply that nitrogen there to make that up. So as we, as we look throughout the season, as we look throughout the year, uh, the splitting of the nitrogen application certainly is, certainly is a possibility, certainly is a good option. We can see results on corn all the way up through early tassel. We can get good results from our from our nitrogen application. The key is how do we best do this uh, economically and how do we best do this not to damage any more of the crop. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.